This is the studiofiles.com video on how to group tracks together in Logic Pro. It's really essential to learn how to do this because when you're working with a large number of tracks or when you're editing drums, it'll save you a lot of time by editing things at once with a group. So let's go into the mixer window with Apple II. Now you want to group similar tracks together. So for instance, I have a snare top and a snare bottom mic. So highlight those two tracks. Then right above the automation button, you'll see there's a blank space. Click in there and you'll see the 32 different groups Logic has available. Let's pick group 20 for the snares. Now the group settings dialog box opens. Let's call it snare, makes sense. And there's a bunch of different checkboxes that you can choose for how you want your tracks to be grouped together. For now, we're just gonna check region selection, which will make them edit together, and track zoom, so they'll zoom together. Let's do the same thing for our toms. We have low tom, mid tom, high tom. Go into the group menu. Next available group is 21, call it toms, and region selection and track zoom again. And finally, overheads. Now, the most important group when editing drums is the all drums group. You need to make a group that selects all your drums at once. This is the most important one when you're editing, which you'll see in our next video. So highlight all your drum tracks, choose the next available group, which is 23, and call it all drums. Stay tuned for our next video coming up really soon on how to use these groups when you're editing drums in Logic Pro.